Did you know a needle is almost the most important part of the machine? Yes, there's thread and how to thread it. Everything has to work correctly, but your needle needs to match your fabric choice and also your thread thickness. Now we've done a ton of needle videos over the years and I'm gonna link up to them in this top right corner, an entire playlist of information on every kind of needle that is out there. So with Bernina, this little variety pack came with it. Most of these are universal needles and in a small, medium, and kind of larger size, kind of a 70, 80, and 90. A note, you do not have to have Bernina branded needles for this machine. This is considered a regular home sewing machine, so any home sewing machine needle will work. To take your needle in and out, you are gonna look for this little screw driver. It's kind of more of a Torx end to it, and you're gonna come over to the side and loosen it. So I do like that this has a little rubbered end to it, makes it really easy to um, tighten and loosen. But I do wanna warn you, you don't wanna actually go and tighten this like really, really tight. So there's a, there's a finesse, a gentle tightening of your needle. And of course, if you've loosened it, it should just come out. Notice I uh, had a hold of it before it loosened all the way. Needles do have a flat side on the back, so just go ahead, put the point of the needle down into the foot and bring that all the way up. Now I'm gonna show you a way you can test whether you have your needle all the way at the highest position. Because some people don't get it all the way up to the highest point and then they have other serious issues. So after you put a new needle in, use your needle threader. If your needle threader doesn't line up with that little hole of the needle, you know you did not get it high enough in. So just definitely you get in the habit of using that. You do want to use bigger needles for heavier fabrics and thicker thread. And then finer needles need thinner thread and are good for fabric that's a little bit thinner. You're not punching such a large hole. But there are lots of different kinds of needles. There's embroidery needles we'll talk about once we get to the embroidery side of this machine. So when do you change a needle? Anytime that you can have a little loop of thread on your fabric, it's not laying as flat, your thread breaks, you, you just have a, it's just not working, change your needle. It's the quickest thing to solve the problems. If you sew over pins, if you have that habit, which you, I hope you don't, but if you get close to a pin and you hit a pin, and you hear that little ticking sound, you've busted the tip of the needle off and it's punching through your fabric. Definitely a needle change. So first thing, if anything's going wrong, the first thing I do is put a new needle in the machine.